The most severe rotavirus infections occur primarily in children under the age of five years. There is no specific treatment. Only rehydration and zinc supplements can reduce the severity and length of the infection. Although most deaths are among children in Africa and Southern Asia, rotavirus infection is a worldwide phenomenon. This shows that good hygiene practices are not enough to prevent it and that therefore a vaccine is necessary to stop hundreds of children from dying every day. There are currently two vaccines that protect children against rotavirus, but not all children. Their cost and efficacy, the fact that they must be kept refrigerated, and their bulk all mean that in many countries where MSF works, especially sub-Saharan Africa, they are less available to children who are therefore less protected. But the two vaccines have no competition, so their manufacturers have no reason to adapt them to the needs of these children. MSF's Epidemiological Research Centre, Epicentre, has spent years conducting studies on diarrheal diseases in Niger's Maradi region. Using data showing close to one in three children are rotavirus carriers, Epicentre, MSF, Niger's Ministry of Health and the World Health Organization have completed an efficacy trial on BRVPV, a new vaccine produced by the Serum Institute of India. Over 4,000 children took part in phase three of the trial to prove the vaccine's efficacy. The results, published in the New England Journal of Medicine, are conclusive. Firstly, the vaccine is safe and effective in over 66% of cases. This is far better than the results obtained by the existing vaccines in the same region. Secondly, it is heat stable. Contrary to many vaccines, it doesn't need to be maintained at a temperature between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius, as it remains effective for up to 6 months at 40 degrees Celsius and up to a year at 37 degrees Celsius. So it's suitable for use in remote areas where it can be extremely challenging to maintain the cold chain. Thirdly, it costs less than the existing vaccines, so the poorest countries will be able to purchase it without having to depend on subsidies that may not last forever. The vaccine is licensed in India and has been submitted to the World Health Organization for pre-qualification. This is critical as it means the vaccine can be purchased for use in vaccination programs. As soon as it is pre-qualified, it can be rolled out and used widely. Beyond the immediate impact BRVPV will have for millions of children, its success proves that it's possible to develop a vaccine specifically adapted for use in developing countries.